if you're wearing that dress, you're not gonna go anywhere for dinner that gives you cloth napkins, cause like, it's not really the vibe, you know what I mean? This is traumatizing me right now. It reminds me almost of like a twister board game and a mix of like a cow. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I created Dolled Up by Dre. So today's video is a fun one. At first I wasn't gonna make this video as I was like, I might be offensive, but honestly the clothes are so offensive in this video, you should be offended by Fashion Nova, not me. So I have rounded up the worst looks I have found on Fashion Nova's website. This is honestly just meant to be a super fun, like joking video. Don't get me wrong, they actually have some cute stuff on there and I did a haul back in the summer. If you wanna see that, I'll link it below. My reviews were a little bit mixed, but I didn't completely hate it. I just often comment on Fashion Nova cause it's like a go too because they just come up with some crazy shit and it's just one of those sites that like never fails to amaze me about some of the designs that they have on there and i'm like who is buying some of this stuff it honestly to me is like the modern day sirens like do you guys remember sirens like if you're in canada at least i don't know about the states if they had that but sirens was like the like night clubbing like you know going out girl store with like really skanky stuff and it was like super super cheap and stuff fashion nova is like not even actually like that cheap in a sense like everything's like 50 bucks but I thought I would make a fun round of video of all of the worst looks I found on that website and we can just you know be in horror together and it's just something fun if you like any of these looks don't be offended you probably won't though but this is just a fun one so without further ado let's get to the video if I'm looking down it's because I'm looking at my laptop I have all my notes there because I'm a scholar the first item is this pair of white polka dotted pants and like they're literally horrible. They're flared as well. So it's just like, it reminds me almost of like a twister board game and a mix of like a cow, like literally. These are 50 US dollars and I feel like they should be paying people 50 US dollars to wear them instead of actually selling them. Like I don't know who would actually buy these pants. If you like them, comment below, I would love to know. But I'm just like, these are awful. These need to be stopped. Okay, the next item is another pair of pants that really needs to be stopped. These are like patchwork wide leg flare pants and like they're kind of cropped. They're just like literally tragic and horrible. I feel bad saying that because the model is like really pretty. So like I feel bad for her shit to wear those, but it's literally just like a travesty. It's just awful. And like these pants just are awful. And I don't know who designed them and why and who they think they're going to sell them to because they're just like, they're just like not cute. I just do not. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. Okay, the next is this like kind of slinky like bodycon maxi dress and it's got this like really ugly leopard print like it's not even a cute leopard print like if it was a cute leopard print i'd be like okay fine guys like whatever you know what i mean but it's like you can tell as well by the lighting that the dress is literally see-through so like just imagine if you're out and you're like wearing like a colorful underwear those are literally going to show through that dress the dress is completely see-through and the keyholes and stuff like it could be okay as maybe if the dress was like a bit shorter and the pattern was better but honestly i just don't think that this dress is a winner and I'm just like not really not it's just a hot mess to me like it's not it's not it okay this butterfly set right now like this is traumatizing me right now like this is so hideous I would not even wear it as pajamas like who in their right mind first of all would want to wear like white leggings second of all put butterflies all over them and make it a duo set as a crop top like it is just so bad it is just terrible like I can't like I again I wouldn't even wear these as, this as pajamas like for fuck's sake this is just like ugh. like I can't. Okay, the next set I do, it's another butterfly set. Like butterflies are all the rage and don't get me wrong. Like I don't hate on butterflies. I actually have a pair of butterfly shoes that I love and I think they're so cute. But this set is just like next level. At first I thought it was like a beach set, but it's not. It's literally an everyday set. It's just like, it's crazy. So like you can see in the photo, she's wearing these clear see-through butterfly pants and then it has a thong it comes with as the bottom. And it literally rides up in the back as you'll see in the next photo. It like rides up super high and then there's the tube top i think the tube top is actually kind of cute but like the rest of the outfit it's not even like something you would really like maybe you could wear it to like a day club in vegas if those things like open ever but it's just like it's too much it's one of those outfits where it's like you're honestly just gonna get negative like unwanted male attention and like if you don't care about that then you just want to be like sexy and like women power all the power to you because this outfit would require like a next level of confidence to wear i just personally think the whole thong up the back style is just like really like tacky and just trashy and it just needs to die and it's just like horrible and i just really don't think this outfit is going to get you like any sort of positive attention like you're definitely not going to be treated with that much respect if you're walking around with a thong up your back like just saying you know what i mean like even if no one says anything you're going to get some looks but if this is your style cool it looks really cool on like this instagram model they had on their website but like 
if you see the back, it's like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? It's just too much. It's just taking things too far. It's just like fast fashion at its finest. It's just an item that's gonna be like a one look pose and then you're gonna throw it out and actually probably not be seen in public. Like girls that are posting in this are probably posting it as Fashion Nova ambassadors in their living rooms or their bedrooms and then like never wearing it out in public, like legit. This next item is a pair of pants that I found and honestly like it's the same kind of thong trend but it's from the front. The back is actually very classy. I looked at the back, it's normal, but I don't understand the front. Like in, in whose right mind would you want to walk around in public literally with like a thong showing from the front of your pants? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like it is literally psychotic. It is crazy. It's just like, and it's also like a really bad looking like faux leather. It just looks so uncomfortable. Like. I don't even know and also like faux leather like that like imagine sitting in that and you have like that's hitting the part of your stomach that carries the most fat and you're gonna sit down with all those straps and it's just gonna be like bulge after bulge and someone's gonna be like it's your thought like your underwear is showing and you're gonna be like oh it's just my pants like no like stop it stop it fashion over stop making this stuff it's so bad we can do better they have some cute stuff on their website this is not that oh my god okay so this next item is this cat suit i found and it's literally like i'll just put a photo just makes me so uncomfortable like it makes me so uncomfortable like seeing the split from the legs connect i don't know why it just makes me feel weird i just don't like the whole split thing it covers only the middle like i get it you're covering the necessary parts for like your modesty but like it's just a weird ass cat suit and it's ugly as fuck and i think it's terrible and I don't know like i don't understand again like how they design these things and who they think it's going to suit because it's certainly not suiting like the average person that wants just like cute fast fashion like this is like next level like are we working at a sex club like what are we wearing this to guys like you know what i mean okay so the beauty of, uh, of shopping online is that when you look at certain looks it'll generate like other things you might like so since i've been only looking at like butt ugly things on fashion nova i've only been clicking on those things it's recommending more things to me so this set i found honestly like the print is terrible it reminds me of a halloween costume in like the clearance aisle when, you know those weird costumes that like they have like kind of vague names you don't really understand what the costume is but it's like a costume that's what this reminds me of the one piece i will say is actually really cute and i've seen one pieces like that and i think they're really cute and like sexy but this print i don't know it just looks very cheap it doesn't even pass as like something maybe expensive it's like it's just not checking any boxes for me and it just like i don't know why they made that it's just like not nice shake shack babe perfect got some shake shack i'm like addicted didn't used to eat fast food burgers these are really good Okay, this next look was under like the influencer look section and again it's just like tragic y2k at its finest it's like she's got like the little mini bag and then like the baby girl like cropped with low-rise mom jeans it's just like not happening for me in my life i'm just like i refuse to wear anything like that this is one of those looks that like is a complete throwaway like you're gonna wear that tank top for like one or two looks and then you're just gonna throw it away three months later like this is the problem with fast fashion is they have so many of these trending items that are like very like you know based on what your style is this is very trendy but it's not going to be trendy in like a year from now or even six months from now like these trends come out so quick and then they're just gone you know what i mean like with fast fashion it's like they see something and then they create it to like tenfold and then they just run with it and then they have all this excess inventory and it's just like not sustainable the amount of waste derived from producing all of this clothing is just like crazy like there's a documentary you can watch about it i think it's called like the cost of fashion it's on youtube as well so um if i find that i'll link that below as well not to go on like a separate tangent but i definitely think styles like this are a big problem with fast fashion and these like throwaway trending of the moment pieces this contributes to like a huge wider problem of like people want on trend like cool pieces and then they just like get rid of them a few months later and all those textiles and chemicals and everything is just like wasted into the earth it's just like you know what i mean okay so the next item i always wonder these prints that we see i always wonder when these prints are created such on this like this beautiful elegant gown right here who approves these prints like do they just sit around in a boardroom and it's like one super headstrong like karen type person being like this is what we need this is a hot print this is gonna sell and like everyone around them is just like too scared to get fired so they just stay silent and then these prints like get approved and get sold you know what i mean because this is what i think of when i see shit like this it's like so fucking hideous i don't understand like who would actually think this is cute if you think it's cute i'm sorry it's awful and the bottom of the dress too is like underwear so it's not even see-through from the back like the 
the front is totally see-through as well and then there's just like a big slit literally basically showing the model's ass so it's like if you're not already showing enough of your crotch don't worry your ass is showing on the side it's just like not hot like it's just like it's a tragic sad mess and like whoever approved this print and some of the others it's just like please stop the next dress is another horrible print it reminds me of like a blue steel vibe it's just like it's too much and also like the cleavage in the front i'm all for like a cute like low v dress i think they're super elegant and sexy but this is taking it to the extreme because it's so wide like i remember once when i was in my hospitality days and i was going into work and there was a lady literally like five o'clock hanging out by the bar wearing this like bodysuit that was literally so exposed in the middle and she was like older so that dress just reminds me of the lady that i saw at the bar who was wasted with her like tits all out and everyone literally i was working with was like she needs to put her boobs away because they're like all over the room and it's like all everyone is staring at it was like uncomfortable like this is what that dress just reminds me of like i don't think it's anything like super classy in a sense you know what i mean i mean like maybe you could class it up i just think they could have like taken it in a little bit more you know what i mean Okay, this look I had to mention briefly because it's just so fucking ugly and the tie-dye isn't even cute. Like, I'm not in love with tie-dye, but like, this is just like drives it home because they have a double offense with the thong heeled sandals, which I mentioned in my recent spring fashion trends I hate video. I'll link that below. It's a good one. And it's just like over the top. It's too much. And I don't, don't love this look. And it just has a brief mention in this video because it's just so bad. That's all I'm going to say about it. We're leaving it at that. Okay, this next outfit is like probably one of like the worst i don't even know like who would spend money on this it's so bad it's like a two-piece set so it like wraps around your body and then it has literally like this thong string thing that ties around and it's like first of all it looks trashy as fuck because the thong is coming up your stomach and it's just like it's not even like a little bit it's like all over the place like it's up to her fucking belly button and then the skirt as well is just so short like it's one of those skirts where like you would literally sit down at dinner and have to put the napkin over your lap the entire time although i feel like if you're wearing that dress you're not gonna go anywhere for dinner that gives you cloth napkins because like it's not really the vibe you know what i mean okay the next outfit i actually think the top could be kind of cute if it was just in a plain color the whole thing coming down in the middle too is just like weird and then the pattern is just like it's too much it's just like it's ugly the colors they chose aren't even like passable it's just like i don't know who's gonna wear this it's pretty tragic again it's gonna be one of those like instagram influencer outfits only they're gonna post it once get their kickback for the post and then throw it away Okay, the next item is this like summer jumpsuit thing and i know it is more of like a beachy look but like if honestly i was ever with a friend and like they showed up somewhere like brunch or something wearing this outfit i would purposefully spill my eggs benedict all over them so they would have to go home and think about their choices about when they got dressed that morning and what led them to buy that fucking outfit it is so bad it's just like it reminds me honestly like it's just weird it's not even like a cool like tribal print it literally reminds me of like a boy's action figure but like printed it just like weirds me out it's not even like a flattering shape it's just strange and then the slits on the sides it's like even if you were to a beach club i'd be like oh that thing is just like god awful you know what i mean it's like two fucking blocks on your legs it's just not cute don't like it not here for it okay the next item i had to take a second glance at because at first i was like oh this could be just a bodysuit because like a lot of the high cut bodysuits are like kind of in style not really my thing but i know that a lot of people are like liking that look with like a bag of your pant and the bodysuit like sticks up the sides but this is literally just like a hanging piece it's not even a bodysuit in the front it literally reminds me i had to google this i'll put a photo of zach galifianakis in dinner for schmucks when he's wearing that turtleneck it's like the most iconic outfit in a movie like ever it's so hilarious that's literally what the front of this shirt reminds me of like i don't know who's gonna wear this like even if you tuck it in i guess it's like but why would why would they even accentuate it on the model you know what i mean it's like at least own it and just tuck it in and, and like indicate it's not a bodysuit but they're literally just like letting it letting it flat like it's just weird it's so weird Okay, and then the last items I have for this video, I didn't want to spend all evening browsing Fashion Nova. They actually had a surprising amount of things that were like not horrible. I did find a couple of very offensive looking shoes that I had to add because I mean like, what are we with life if not shoes? You know what I mean? So the first pair is again, the heeled thong sandals. And these are literally made with like 
lucite so they're clear like stripper heel material which is like i know the lucite trend has been a thing and that's totally fine i think some of those shoes are cute but just the fact it's like a heel thong sandal and then with like a terry towel material like these are awful like i'm sure the towel material actually feels nice awful i can't i can't handle it the next shoes i had to literally take like a triple glance at because i can't believe they're actually selling these these literally are for like your inner stripper like these shoes are just like so aggressive i don't know where you're going to wear these in public without people literally being like you're a stripper like no shade at all if that's your profession like i think that whole world is so interesting but like i'm not really here to like dress like i'm doing that for a living you know what i mean and i think if you are to wear those type of shoes out with those like high platforms and like the loose sight and the pink feathers it's just like whoa like that's like a moment like i'm sure you could maybe class it up like i could see someone like christine quinn from selling sunset doing like a cool look with those for like a photo shoot but not necessarily to like wear out to like dinner at like somewhere classy like an italian restaurant you know what i mean like imagine like if you're from vancouver watching this like rolling up to like il giardino wearing these shoes like people would literally like be like baffled and just like gawk at you it would be like it would be like a spectacle like there would be like people taking photos like there'd be waiters like dropping their trays there'd be husbands like like drooling the food out of their mouths because their jaws would just be dropping and then their wives would be like what are you looking at like these are literally like those shoes it's just like i can't but honestly like i really would be so interested to see how many units of these they sell and who is buying them can't believe that a fast fashion website is like actually selling shoes like this so i don't know it's interesting I'm so curious to see if I see these on social media. Like, it's very wild. Okay, guys, that was it for all of my trashy, horrible outfits I found on Fashion Nova today. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to know if you enjoy this kind of content. I'd be happy to do this with other websites. I'd be happy to do this with Zara or even like high fashion stuff if you're interested in that. So give it a like and comment below as well if you are interested and if you have any thoughts on any of these glamorous beautiful looks i've shown you today and again if you do like any of these styles don't be offended it's just a fun video on the internet and i'm just here to have fun so as well if you did really enjoy the video and you want to see more fashion content beauty lifestyle discussion do subscribe to my channel i would love to have you back here all right take care